Hello, everybody. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Thanks for showing up. Tommy Stiggs. We are live, baby. We are live. Heck yeah. How's everyone doing? Glad you guys showed up. Um, we're going to have the Admiral joining us this morning. We're going to have some fun. Uh, maybe I'll have uh, the Admiral do some roll call. What's what happening, think? Calhoun? This? What's going good on, morning, Dad? my son. How are you? Good morning. Are you having a good one? I am. I'm glad I'm having you. a good Tommy one. Stig- having some, some coffee with you. Tommy Stiggs. Yeah, I'm gonna do, let me do roll call. I love that. And I love that people hate it. Honestly, it's one of my favorite things about roll call. Layla, good to see you. I live for now. Probably a good idea. Main Mal, Main House, how are you? Blush to crochet. Good to see you. Cheech, Rhino. Z Dub, the San Diego cat lover. I love all cat lovers, huh? Eh, life's good. Taekwondo, good to see you. Kristen Melinda. Stay Spiria, always a pleasure. Mischief managed. Hey, my friend from Israel, be safe, my brother, please. Uh, Lacey, good to see you, Lacey. Mira Dira, Mary Jones, Zelda, cup of coffee, SB. And I think I pretty much got us caught up there, Cal. Huh? Yeah. Heck yeah. I always like when uh, when Stiggs is here. Makes me happy. Gang's all here. I need to thank some people, man. I need to thank some people. I got a uh, I got a coffee grinder yesterday. So uh, once again, there is no. It does not say um, uh, who the uh, coffee grinder is from, but I did want to say thank you so much. And literally, we drove away from the uh, uh, from the office and got a uh, a text that said a package has just been dropped off for you. So. Um, if there is a, uh, if you sent another package, thank you. And we will, I assume, see it today. We were going to turn around, but yesterday was one of those. I missed you, Miss Sunrise Dawn. Well, that's not my style. I'm terribly sorry. Pajama Pixie, good to see you. Oh, the coffee grinder was for Spanx. No, see, no note. But Pajama Pixie, I will get that to Spanx. We theorized on that last night, Calhoun and I did. Yeah, I told um, I told my dad. I said, uh, "I bet you there's some whole bean right behind that thing." You know, we uh, we got a laugh out of that, <laughs> to be sure. We definitely got a laugh out of that. I missed you too, Dirty Mouse. Oh no! Hey, Brazy, what's happening? So, uh, Tommy, they dig the vibe, man. The vibe is so similar, don't you think, Calhoun? I do. I I dig the vibe personally. So, yeah. what's not to like? You, you know, know something. The uh, we were talking about coffee the other day. I think that it doesn't matter what you do on a on your um, on your YouTube channel in terms of the the the, uh, the what starts the subject, right? But it's how everybody kind of hangs out and just interacts. That there's you know there really is just a lot of similarities. There's no telling where Tommy Stiggs is gonna gonna take a show. There's absolutely no telling what he's gonna talk about. But his taste in music is excellent. You know, he really has excellent, excellent taste in music, and uh, and he's got that accent that just um, sounds like uh, sounds like home right, to people like uh, like me and my brother. You know, oddly enough, sleep- to, to me too, even though I've never been. Um, I slept really well. Actually, it makes a lot of sense. Actually, I went to bed pretty darn quick. I was in bed. I mean, I did stay awake in bed until about ten, but I mean, I've been going to bed a little later than that, so that uh, it worked out well. Got some good sleep. Um, Lest, I hit my what? you know I hate you know I hate to to uh to have to correct you, but you've been to New York. But uh I just so that you never say that again as a uh, as an adult. You may not remember, but you have absolutely not, been to New York. Um I have no memories of but, yeah. That's that's that what I'll true. say from now on. Yes. I have no memories of New York or or the Northeast, but it does sound like home because it sounds like my Do dad. You, yes, it sounds like remember, Papa you, Scoville. Do you remember? Oh, and I believe that's probably why it really sounds like home. That's really why. It really sounds like your grandfather. But uh, I got a question for you. You do you okay. not remember? Do you not remember uh, being in the Northeast ever? So you don't have a how, memory of killing. How old was or? I? Four. What four. are some other memories of four that I do have memories of? Um. That's and really do, excellent. That's that's an excellent way to put it. Um, this is how I do my emotional processing. 
I have to think about that. Calvin. Memory association helps a lot. You know what? Same year, same year as Disney. You lost me. You know what? He kicked me off. But sometimes that happens just with the uh, internet. In fact, sometimes it happens a lot with the internet. YouTube has rehabilitated me. My God in heaven. Do you see this? Uh, I had no. four mini strokes and my uh, thought to speech was off by uh, talking on YouTube. You probably cannot tell it worked. You know what, uh, Tommy Stiggs, you had uh, transient ischemic attacks, right? TIAs. Um, I had a TIA and, uh, and a stroke and they're no joke, man. They really are not. Congratulations on the, cause no, there's no telling at all when you, uh, yeah, when I... you, you don't seem to have any, uh, any speech loss or cognitive decline or anything at all. Yeah, you seem slick to me, brother. Sound. Yeah, it makes the rest of us seem a little uh, a little slow on the upkeep. Sorry. <laughs> we'll, we'll hold it against you. <laughs> I have this button on my mouse that will send me back one page. Um, and I just bumped it. That's what happened. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Which is Tommy, great. I, I would not have any idea at all. That's um, that's fantastic. It really is. Good for you. Balaki Richardson, good to see you. And Jan Hobbs. What is wrong with my setup? What's happening here? Well, that Maybe really need becomes to clean the question. my desk or something. Um, where would you get that kind of uh, disorganization? I mean, if Who you knows? see my desk right now, it looks like like an atomic bomb went off. Um, so I did go to Killington then. That's what you just said. Oh, you've been to Killington. You went sliding. The first time you ever saw snow in your life was in Killington. We we took you sliding. Not sledding? You, um, we did it on inner tubes. Okay. We did it on inner tubes. So I basically kind of held you in a bear hug and got in an inner tube. And I feel like I remember that for sure. Lurch's mom, Lurch's mom, my, my best friend's mom, went out of her way to make this happen. You and I, so here's what happens. Let's see if this I don't remember Lurch either. Well, Lurch wasn't there. You didn't run into Lurch there. So here's what happened. We went to a little restaurant in Killington called the Back Behind Saloon. And as the I back went behind? in, the back behind, because it was back okay. behind everything. So the back All behind right. saloon. And uh, as uh, as we were pulling in, I said to your uh, to your mother, I said, my best friend's mom works in this restaurant and has for eternity, right? Like since it opened. And she said, you haven't been here in, you know, started in with the normal. There's no telling. I said, nah, she'll work here. And I went in and we sat down and... Uh, I said, hey, uh, is is uh, the big C working? And uh, the guy said, no, no, she's not. And I went, oh, bummer. But she should be here in about 10 minutes. <laughs> so I called up the hill and I just said, hey, I'm down here. I got my wife. I got my kid. And she said, uh, are you going to take him, uh, you know, sliding? Are you know, doing anything? I said, he's, he's pretty young. She said, I'll bring an inner tube. So she brought an inner tube down and she said, just, you know, go up 100 yards or whatever. You got to do something for him. And that's about what we did. But I took you up about 100 yards. And of course, there was no stopping. Right? I had to do that about 14 times because each time I tried to, to get back to the car, you detonated like an atomic bomb. But yeah, we took you, uh, you went sliding on, uh, on an inner tube in, uh, in Killington. And then we took you all over the place. We, uh, hmm. You saw a lot of the Northeast. You saw Jersey. You saw Boston. You saw New York. Really? We did a little tour. Huh? Really? Yeah. I've been. What do you those think places? you were when you became Spanx Calhoun? I have no idea. I thought I was you were in, in Boston, Salt Lake. I guess no. all of my memories I just assume are from Salt Lake. So the story of Spanx Calhoun. I drove from Texas to Massachusetts to run down one of the um, the brothers that used to rip me off constantly for for cash. Love that. And, and the the one of the Luby brothers named you. Or, or spit the name out and you kind of took it and ran with it. But yeah, that was in Boston, Massachusetts. That's where that took place. You, you, uh, you saw a lot of the country, Kel. You saw a lot of the world. We took you around. You definitely got around. Maybe that's where I get my travel bug from. Well, you, you never were a kid that bummed out at all about any aspect of travel. You were a kid you could take on a 26-hour road trip, and he did not give a crap. You did not at any point start doing the, are we there yet? How long is it going to be? You were an excellent little road tripper. You kind of looked out the window and grooved, providing music was on. Hey, Joseph, good to see you. Well, we were, we were actually in Southie when, uh, when Spanky got that uh, nickname. We were in Southie. Lol. <laughs> That's where we were. We were in South Boston. Proud of that. Yeah. Yeah. Jemiah Run, running down some low says, um, <laughs> what was that sliding mountain they closed? 
the serpent or something was too dangerous? Uh, there was a, um, there's one in the, in the, uh, if he's talking about the Alpine slide. Yeah. There was a slide in the Northeast. I do not remember the name of it, but we if had you're from, go ahead. something in Salt Lake called the Alpine slide at Snowbird in the summer. And uh-huh. it was like this track you would, uh, you would walk to the top of the hill, you yeah. know, and, uh, they have these carts. You would grab your cart and kind of drag it up the, the, the final stretch of the hill and yeah. get in line. And they, they were kind of look like water slides, but there's no water. Yeah. And you put your little cart in there and this cart has like a little handle right between your legs. And if you gas or can't, break. Me- I can't remember if you pull it or if you push it down, but when you apply pressure, it gives you acceleration. It yeah. pushes the wheel down and pushes the front of the cart off of the track. Right. Yeah. So you can just nail it down and just cruise. You can get so fast. I've seen people shoot out and really, really hurt themselves. So but that, that the, thing is serious. The Alpine slides. Thing. The Alpine slides got a lot of traction in the eighties. Now okay. I have taken you on Alpine slides before as well. Um, and you are correct. You push forward, right? Yeah. It is a little stake. And what, yeah. And there are two little rails that go up and down on them that are brakes. So when you push it all the way forward, those rails are gone and you're just all wheel. Now they became issues bad in the Northeast <laughs> because people were flying out of them left and right and getting really seriously injured. Most Alpine slides now have been re-engineered, right? So most of them now have a pull that the thing actually rides on. Interesting. So, so you can't, the, the cart locks onto a pole. Now it doesn't mean you can't fly off that cart, <laughs> but, but they're well, making see, that's, a, the, that's the ahead. thing. It's like you, I don't know. I feel like the people that flew out of there are, are the ones that hit that setting on everything. You know what I mean? They're like, let's see, let's see what max is, you know? Um, In fact, well, I, I don't have didn't the like camera set up. I don't have the, the right camera set up, but I could probably uh, throw Johnny Scoville on right now because that's the uh, that is the idiot we're talking about. I mean, no disrespect what? to Johnny, but if he were Did to get on an out Alpine, of the Alpine slide, uh, have you ever flown off of an Alpine slide, Johnny Scoville? Uh, no, I can't talk. It took <laughs> you a, a long time question. to say it. It took a long time I, to I, answer yeah. that, didn't it? I wrote yeah, a it did. and a half out. I wrote a sweeping corner and half in the thing and half out of the thing, half folded over the edge. And swung right the edge. <laughs> so the answer is pulled me out of the seat. And I, the answer, the answer is, is yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> the answer is yes. He has fallen out of a uh, out of an out there. Hey. Yeah, the answer I'm is gonna... yes. He has flown out of an alpine slide. There you go. Look there at that. Um, you have uh, you already now. wanted to ride on some uh, Al- Heather Rhodes. You know what? Alpine slides are a lot of fun, but I promise you, right? They are more dangerous than they look like. They they're and very Shelby dangerous. Says set that slide to ludicrous speed. We want to go back that and into speed. plaid. Right? Yeah. yeah, I love ludicrous speed. I have to say, if you just approach it with a little bit of caution, you're going to be fine. You know. Just oh, a little. You're, you're, that's you. Oh, that's you. You've always been that dude, right? I've always been no. that dude. My uncle's always been that dude. Caution, right? We're known for yeah. it. Yeah, I don't think nothing. So. Uh, yeah, nothing screams um, caution like the Scoville family. I value the skin on my body, you know, and the teeth in he my head. He values. And... He says he values the skin on his body. Can you give me one of these? Because uh-huh. you look, you look a little like. Uh, <laughs> Actually, it's the wrong digit. I was going to say you look a little like um, like Jerry Garcia, but you've already lost a, a bit of a digit, right? Yeah, we need you to be careful, man. Uh, I wouldn't recognize Southie now. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't been there in a long time. It's been um, it's been a couple of decades. Uh, well, I have to say, I can't wait to have memories of the Northeast that are that I can remember. You know, that are more modern. Yeah, yeah. Like, I can't wait to create new memories to be playing, yeah. right? In yeah. the Northeast. I can't wait to go back and visit and uh, then I won't have any any uh, reason to feel like I've never been, you know? Yeah. No, you, uh, we definitely need to, um, we definitely need to, to rectify that. Um, Rectify? Rectum, damn, damn near killed him five. Uh, we used to have an alpine slide in Chattanooga. I Chattanooga. Was, what a word. I like Tennessee. that. My sister uh, tipped over and couldn't get back upright and wound up with bad road rash. Ouch. Her boyfriend stuck uh, his hand under her face 
and got road rash there. What good for a boyfriend? I mean, something to be said cat. for that. They're dangerous, right? Yeah, like, no are. lie at all. These things are no joke, man. You know what they did? For those of you who are having a difficult time, like, visualizing this, um, you know when you watch the Olympics and you got the, the luge, the one-man luge, where the guy goes down feet first? Okay, that guy's sitting up with your hands between your legs, and instead of the uh, the thing being made of ice, it's made of concrete. What could possibly go wrong? The one at okay. Snowbird's made out of like some sort of plastic. Really, I've not seen but, ever any, anything. I mean, concrete. you know where the pool is at the cliff, right? Cliff Lodge, yeah. Yeah, and there's like a little like kind of like a, a sidewalk that winds up next to the pool. Yeah. And then there's a pole, right there. A You're tower. going off the side of the building. Well, no, so that's the zip line right there, but the alpine slide is right next to it. So like if, if there, so let me, where am I on camera? Cliff Lodge, the yep. sidewalk, the tower, not directly okay, yeah, in yeah, a yeah, line, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the last in line is the, uh, so I'm not going to recognize that either. <laughs> why? Um, how often, this is a great question from Layla. That's it. I was just thinking I had to answer. Sorry, that's a great that question. Me a lot early, more more often early on. The longer you, I go, the less they, they back down. But early on, the answer is brutal. Yeah. Yeah, but not so bad. The longer, the more sober I got, the, less, the more silence I did, the more I was able to silence them. What about you, Calhoun? Great question. Um, you know, I think that they had a lot more more influence in the beginning. I don't know if they're ever going to be a non-issue. I don't know if I'll ever be, or am I cured, you know, of the negative right, yeah. thoughts. But I definitely am way more well-equipped, I think, now to, to to deal with them. And I definitely see them coming. You know, I definitely uh, don't ever not recognize them, right? So I think definitely still it's still a constant thing. It's still something I constantly have to keep in check, but or be aware of, I guess, but, um, it was a, it was a large problem in the beginning. It was bigger than I see. I am the exact opposite of both of you. Hmm. When I, when I quit doing dope, I rode this, um, at least for guilt. I was, they call it every, everything pink, else. Pink, pink cloud. cloud. Yeah. Yeah. I, but see, I didn't get the, the more traditional pink. Like I was miserable when I stopped doing dope for the first five years, I was miserable. I mean, I really that makes was. scientific However, sense. However, yeah. However, <laughs> I, I didn't spend a lot of time beating myself up about my past. That's not what made me miserable. For the first five years, what made me miserable was the fact that I just wasn't high. Like, yeah. That's all I could think about. And, and it any was chemicals. just, yeah. I mean, it was that constant feeling of, oh man, I just, you know, this isn't right. I don't feel right. I don't feel right. I don't feel right. I don't feel right. Um, but as I got more uh, sobriety under my belt and, and I spent more time, uh, coming to grips with who I am and, and becoming a person, I started to really wrestle um, with negative thoughts. And the negative thoughts were not current. They were vis-a-vis -vis my past, if that makes sense, right? I don't have negative thoughts about my, my life and currently what's going on. If I do, it's always tainted as looking through the, the lens of the past, for me anyway. I think that what makes those your your aunt's current and and like what how what makes them affecting this present moment is you're probably also judging yourself based on these past memories, right? You're saying I'm a bad person or I did bad things to yourself. You're having a negative self talk at the same time. I would imagine. Am I right? I think there's probably something to that. Yeah, yeah. I think there's probably is, some something to that. Something we need to nip in the butt. That that uh, that kind of thing will wear on wear on a man. You know, wear, well, wear on 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 anyone. No question. Uh, but I'll tell you something. Here's the here's the most important part of this for me, man. Anyway, um, uh, metric. I think that the uh, chances are Calhoun's genes came from his mom, which is lucky because she's a considerably better looking. Um, but I'll tell you something. I think the most important part of that question, the takeaway for that question needs to be this. Man, you got about eight minutes you need to get through. People will F up an entire day, right? Or an entire month or an entire year sitting and talking about the, the, the Jones, sitting and talking about how the fact that they want to get higher, the fact that they feel like they're going to, um, uh, you know, that, that relapse feeling, right? 
If you can get through eight minutes of that, it's going to go away. If you feed into it, it can last forever. Cheech, congratulations, man. That's beautiful. 18 years free of the penitentiary by the grace of God. Booyah. 18 yeah, years I, free of the penance. You, are, you have won, my brother. You know, yeah, the statistics say there ain't no chance you're going back. You get Hell by yeah. five years, you're doing really, really good. Once you get by five, the statistics of you going back drop out of the bottom. And when you get by 10, nobody goes back. You get by 15, I promise you, you're, you have won the lottery, my brother, and you earned it. Hmm, A regular show it. with me and Johnny. Um, you Well, you know what? We have agreed that we're going to continually do every um, uh, solar eclipse. She's talking missing. about me. Oh, that's my. I hate to. I hate to. <laughs> well, you know what? I would prefer the hell out of that. Do you see that? How about you two? Um, they would. They would like a show with you and Calhounis. But you're. You're. Uh, you Metric. She does not. Do I'll tell you about. I'll tell you about my red hair one day. Not today. Um, not. Uh, I would consider that. Um, you can tell that story anytime you want, Calhoun. The, uh, the, yeah, the vast majority, you know. Uh, I get it. I um, personally don't want to tell that story today. Okay. Uh, but you have a, I look you forward have a, to it. Cheech Rhino says, thank you. I have a beautiful, I'm going to say you either say going with wife or child. And either way, man, I'm pretty fired up that I have always been a person, you know, that I could not get clean for me. I tried for three decades to get clean for me and I couldn't do it. It didn't happen. And I, and it, and I tried so many different ways. I tried 12 steps. I tried every single approach that you could take. And it just, uh, it wasn't going to happen. When I started to realize that there were, um, there were people on this planet that were more important than me and that, that, they really were the reason that I wanted to uh, to get clean. And I was able to focus on that. Um, the next thing you knew, I wanted to be clean for me. But I sure as hell couldn't do that in the beginning. In the beginning, I hated myself. <laughs> oh, Calhounis. Oh, Calhounis. Rest well, Miss Sunrise Dawn. We'll see you later, all right? Lumen, good to see you. I love the red hair. My grandma used to always call it strawberry blonde. Um, she always had a way of putting things. Are you talking yeah. about uh, mom's mom? Yeah. Yeah. She's a pistol. What was the other stuff? She used to say all kinds of funny stuff. She still does actually. Strawberry blonde. Yeah. She's a, uh, my... she's a lovely human being and I'm not she being is. a wise ass or, uh, at all. No. I'm not. I, yeah. I Shout out to Graham. Honestly. Yeah, I truthfully have uh, I truthfully have mad love for my uh, my former mother in law. I mean that, and my, and my former father in law is a really good dude too. I do not have any any ill feelings at all for either of them. They're great people. It's a I, true story. I actually called mom the other day um, when I was getting a little overwhelmed, and I kind of told her what's been going on, and she said she might come check it out. So for all I know, she's watching. Right? Oh, now. wouldn't that be a pisser? No, um, that would be fun. Yeah, wouldn't that? Be a I doubt it, but. No, uh, you know, I, there's uh, no no hard feelings or animosity there either, and I and you know, it is what it is. It's uh, shout out to my mom. Love sure. her. Yep. I uh, there has not been a day that has gone by from the day that I met that woman that I haven't prayed for her. It's a true story, and uh, and have no intention of stopping. It's uh, it's something that I do. Hey, crickets here. Cricket, you know something. So I, I love cricket. I'm nervous about cricket because I'm coming to the realization. Yeah, I, I love cricket. I really do. But I'm coming to the realization that cricket doesn't sleep. So great. Johnny Skull says just it's on, overrated. She's just on that <laughs> new math. So she's awake nine hours a day. But those nine hours are during. Are separate hours. from the 24 hours that are in the day. Oh, it's that I new math. You. Yeah, that's it's time outside of time. Oh, okay, you got, got one of those pocket. cool things you spin. Yeah, be careful yeah. with those. I've seen bad things happen with those. Talking about the time turner or dreidel? Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, where do, you wizard, where says, do you think a wizard goes to get one of those repaired? They're just they just look like watches, Calhoun. There's all kinds of things in there. With Christy says, join me to get to know Captain Calhoun tomorrow during my interview. 
let's get to know him beyond the boat. Um, I forgot to bring this up, but uh, there it is. She didn't. I uh, probably need to do some meditation to get my things in order today. Get my thoughts together. But yeah, I'll be over at Conversations with Christy um, tomorrow at 11 our time. So 11 MST, or I believe that's also Pacific. Um, we are Pacific. Matt, are we? Yeah, we you were Mountain Bull a month ago, Calhoun. But now we're well, Pacific because of the time change thing. We are. Time I understand. Is screw, yeah. There's something called Mountain Standard Time. Um, and we're not and on it. I disagree. Would you like to put 500 grand on it? Trust uh, me when I tell you. You can't that pay Arizona, that out when I win. Uh, trust me when I tell you Arizona is on Pacific uh, Standard Time right now. Okay. We can revisit this later. I. Okay. Uh, I'll show you it's where just I found when this you tell people what time you're going to uh, to go live. We're on. Oh yeah, uh, so eleven Pacific, eleven a.m. Pacific tomorrow. Excellent. Uh, Johnny is uh, considering a kilt. You were just talking about that. I was. Uh, who said that? It was um, red plaid, green plaid. Jen uh, on Neen Hobbs said, "I'm a sucker for red hair or a man in a kilt." So I was saying just the other day we were talking about Remember that. How about the combination of both? Yeah, I don't have red hair. Spanks and pull that off. No, I'm saying. I look way good in the kilt. I should, uh, I should imagine you could rock one. I've always been. um, Let the uh, goatee out. Killer. See, I think that the red, (laughs) the red tartan thing, but I've never liked kilts in other colors, like the green. I don't know what they call that, but that 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 very um, uh, like the beef eater gin guy. Traditional, right? Yeah. Okay, that guy. The, the guy on the beef eater gin bottle. I love that look. That is a, um, make sure the pattern doesn't belong to a clan. See, I don't understand any of that stuff. Yep. Uh, this is a important funny story of it, but uh, yeah, I don't it's understand very any important. of that. So how do, uh, how does one go and get a, a kilt then and make sure that the pattern doesn't belong to a, uh, a clan? Well, it I seems to me, go to like a, a place. Clans. Where they make kilts or, you know, go talk to someone that knows something about kilts, probably. I looked at it. It's pretty, have you looked at it? Yeah. You need a look, kilt guy, I, Uncle Johnny. I don't think you're remembering it the way you think you are. Maybe. Show me a picture. Like, it's it's full on. I don't know if you can. I'd pay to see you in that. That's the beefy. I don't think it's what you were thinking. No, that's not the guy I'm talking about. <laughs> That's not even close to the guy I'm talking. You know the guy I'm talking about. Yeah, but that's that, the, he, they have more than one logo. You Weisenheimer. Johnny goes yeah, that, for the. He goes. I for was the thinking of length, that guy too. He goes for the full length dress. No, the uh, I'm talking about the guy in the uh, and you know yeah, yeah he's a wise ass because he knows what I'm. Uh, you you knew what I was looking for and went for that anyway. No, oh, you typed it beefy. Right? Plaid gives you the uh, oh yeah. Catholic uniforms. Yeah, Aliyup, I can see that. I never wore any. Um, uh, I never wore uniforms for uh, for school. We never had to do that um, growing up. You did, Calhoun, for a little while. Did what? Wore a uh, a school uniform. Oh. oh, I did. I do remember that actually. I rocked that to death. Yeah, I don't like that. You think red that, better? Yeah, I think red's better too. Yeah. that's the style. That's the style. Little, yeah, little, that's man. the style. Yeah, I'll show you the color though. Oh Lord, that's. Um, Can you guys picture the admiral rocking all of that? Look at those little bows on his. That, that doesn't look like a kilt to me. You it's know? not a kilt. Yeah, that that to me looks like. There's your, there's your and there's your. That's the, that's the bogey right there. That's the guy right there. That's that's the one we were looking for. Is right there. That's the guy, and that's the uh, dude that was always on the bottle. Now, except he had he had bagpipes. The guy in the bottle. I need to be. Doing that in the video. Yeah. Oh, but hang on. Look at these are different colors you can get, man. Look at those. There's some cool ones. But see, every one of those has got a clan name after it. So yeah, all of those yeah, are look, this one's they all Bo- do this belong one's to Bougan clans. Bougan Skull Girl. They just add the skull at the end. What are you gonna do? See that? Johnny's just uh he's just like yeah. he's on fire. Wait, he Cam- is on fire. Cameron. It's good. You can be camera in school. Well, no, but I mean, like you're just you're just uh, you're just jumping up and down all over these uh, these clans and saying I'm I'm making this my own. Hey, can everybody see this? I just want to get to see this. This is the greatest thing you're ever gonna see. Just so you talk about different clans. How about this? There's only about what? a thousand of them. He's what showing is? 
a beef eater. Those are all clans, What's, yeah. What is that? That's a term. That's So it's not just industry. the name. It's on a name brand. Bottle. I was using well, it yeah, uh, from the, I don't know. I don't know where the, the derivation of beef eater comes from. Do you want to look that up? Sure. What does a beef eater do in their um, uniform? You know what I mean? It's what a does clever the uniform name, signify? I'm assuming that they're, uh, that they're, uh, I have no idea. Uh, you ready? Uh-huh. Uh, it was due to the, their mighty stature and a hearty daily duty ration, which included a large, large portion of beef. See, the king's bodyguard of the yeoman of the guard, the yeoman of the guard at St. James Palace are the original beef eaters, having earned their somewhat jocular name since they were since the 16th century, because they were big and they ate a lot of meat. That's it. So All right. Generally, just... they were large, uh, large gentlemen. Did a lot of eating of uh, beef and uh, bodyguards to the king, yeomans and whatnot. Okay. There you go. Fair enough. There you go. They also donned a very, very attractive kilt. Uh, they do they guard the Tower of London? I don't know, Soaro, but that it. I feel like the people who guard the Tower of London wear a much different raiment, and I'm not looking to rock that. Right. Like I've worn a kilt before. I wore one to somebody's uh, wedding. I was in a wedding party and I was asked to uh, to put on a kilt and I got to wear one of those red numbers. Um, and they had actually like they had a whole little outfit. And, like, everybody said, had them rented. They even had shoes in the whole works. And I dug it. I thought it was pretty cool, truthfully. But uh, yeah, I. Uh, it is a little bit of a vulnerability. I think you feel. And you'd be shocked the number of people that just want to lift up your kilt. It, it actually happens quite a bit, uh, more than you would think. But um, you know why? Because how often are you going to see you in a kilt? It's well, a let's see. I've worn one once. So uh, people yeah, don't saying, know how to ask permission. Every day, it's commonplace. No one's going to think about it. Yeah, people don't. It's uh, it's one of those things. Depends on the time of the year and the beef eater's uniform. Uh huh. Jen uh, Hobbs says they have summer and winter uniforms. That makes sense. I'll be damned. Well, no, that makes sense. The uh, the summer one then is the one that I'm considerably more comfortable, uh, to, you know, with the uh, the mindset. The big shirt that looks like the uh, thing from Seinfeld. I don't know, man. Puffy shirt. The puffy I shirt. I don't want to be a pirate. That yeah, see, you get it. All red kilts come from Scottish clanmen, family names such as McGregor, Wallace, and uh, Gordon. Excellent. McGregor, hmm. Wallace, and Gordon. Hmm. Um, you know, Lady uh, Crispin um, led a campaign to save a particular tartan that was, honestly, I, I'm not going to do any justice. You should interview her because I will do a bad job. But she actually saved a place that made a particular tartan and she got a bunch of people together and raised money to do this. And it was a very, very cool thing. I just am not doing it any justice because of my my cognitive decline last year i probably could have told you a hell of a story about this but she uh saved this uh this stuff and they're still making it now and it would have been gone and they had been making it since the 16 something it's very very cool what does the word the, tartan mean um it it refers to a uh pattern calhoun a specific pattern and i think if you google it it might pull it up and if i'm wrong i don't think i'm wrong well it's more fun to ask you yeah well, I, I don't always, and usually if I'm right, Calhoun, I'll roll with it. But if I have any doubt whatsoever, I'll do the, I'm not 100% uh, sure on that. Hey, Balaki, be careful on those quick showers. You know, it's the most dangerous room in the house. Getting in and out of there. Be, be very careful. I slipped in the shower once and like pulled a tendon in my foot or something. I couldn't walk for like a week. It is the pattern of tweed. Thank you, Rona. Pattern of tweed. I like that word, tweed. Yes, that's the big the tartan, tweed. Tartan thing. refers to the pattern of the tweed. Thank you, Rona. That's I love a I love a definition that's like where somebody's just you know what I mean. It's a it's a family tradition when you go up to somebody and you say, um, I was wondering if you could tell me um, how to get to you know such and such street. Yeah, you want to go down the. Uh, actually, wait a sec. <laughs> the tires would light up my. My uncle and my dad had zero patience. If somebody started giving them directions and they didn't have them perfectly, they would drive off and leave the person standing there. Yeah, I always thought was, that was the ruse. The chief was a magnet for people that were bad, that had the, like, no ability to, to give directions. You know what I mean? It's true. Well, 
You guys got any fun plans today? You got some book writing? Don't go right. I, I, uh, you know, your uh, your uncle is not doing any book writing. There was a um, he's going to be leaving shortly to go uh, do that. He's going to write on a lake. Sadly, right as he was getting ready to leave, there had been a uh, death in the family um, of the uh, people who were he's saying, and uh, the patriarch actually of the family. Sadly, um, but. Uh, so they were Sorry taking care that. of that. Yeah, well, you know what, though? 97, Calhoun. How's that? I mean, yeah, if you're going to make it. 92. Oh, 92. My bad. Still, 92 is still fantastic. 97 is uh, you know, it's a long time. Here's an interesting question. Do you want to live to 97? No. Yeah. No, I want to live until my quality of life uh, doesn't isn't there anymore. But, you know, I'm also a young man. I'm older th already than I thought that I would live to be. So, oh, yeah, right. I mean, at this point, like, all bets are kind of off. I don't know what to expect. Uh, most of my ideas of what I thought that I wanted are archaic and outdated. So, don't quote me. Yeah. But, uh... Kind of rediscovering all that. But, yeah, no, I don't, wanna, I don't want people to have to take care of me. I don't want to be a burden. That sounds terrible. Metric. Uh, yeah, there are, there are a ton of tests that doctors can run uh, to test for early onset dementia, Alzheimer's, cognitive brain issues, et cetera, on a mid forties. Yeah, absolutely. The fact that they're blowing you off means that you need new doctors. If you, they if blow you me off too when I go in like that, same thing. If, if they're like people your age don't get cancer. And I'm like, I hate you. I, uh, I tell them my dad had cancer younger than me, you know? The, uh, yeah, the it's one of those situations, people, that if you don't have a doctor that is handling what you what you need done, then you need a new doctor, right? And if you got to be a jerk about it, then you got to be a jerk about it. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Cognitive decline, this is your brain. So if you feel like be, that that you're losing it, then you need to find another doctor because there are actions you can take in your 40s that are going to make your quality of life in your 50s so much different than if you don't take it, right? If you, if you are going down that road, if cognitive decline is starting because you have early onset dementia and you're watching TV for six hours a day, you're going to go bad fast, right? And that's one of 400 things they're going to tell you that you need to change in your life. Right. There are things in your diet that you're going to you know, do differently. There's a bunch of stuff. But if a doctor says, oh, you're way too young for that, then find another doctor because there are things that they can do. And, and you know what? The tests suck. Right. Some of them are good getting put in the tube where they're just taking pictures of your of your brain. But a lot of it is things that feel like IQ tests where you go in and you sit down and it's, you know, they're because patterns. It isn't. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Kel. And you're looking for patterns and you're looking for things. But you also have to be all in. You're not going to go in in five minutes. And um, and Brianna, apparently, this is my this is the, how it's been told to me. You can I I think that every neurologist may explain this differently, but this is what my neurologist said to me. We were never designed right to watch a television set. It's not how we were built. So when we look out into the world and we see things, we see things in a way that is very very normal, right? That's how our eyes work. When we watch television, that is not even remotely how we see things, right? They have designed this thing that they call moving movies or television or edited stuff that are really short little clips of things. And you, the process of your brain putting that together and assembling it into something that makes sense um, isn't something that uh, that flexes your brain in a positive way like the neuroplasticity of the brain it's not helping it's doing really bad words repeating numbers backwards they've told me that 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 is something that they uh, talked about when i first got diagnosed that's something they talked about things like um shannon smith they said if you're going to be using a computer make sure that these things always have a blue um coding on them his real name is mike right Calhoun is no, a, uh, unfortunately, is, is, we're not long lost relatives. Unfortunately, yeah, he is. A, yeah, you are not long lost uh, relatives. And uh, yeah, well, maybe that's good. <laughs> um, I mean, I feel like I have some long lost relatives out there, you know, for sure. You do. 
You do. Yeah, something you inside me do. just tells me they're out there. You know, not looking well, for me. <laughs> um, you know what? They may they may not know you're alive. Um, but we all have relatives. I promise you. If you got yourself put into those, uh, you know, those databases or whatever. But um, my eyes are killing me, man. I need to get some blue glasses. Spend so much uh, time looking what? at the screen. You absolutely need them, and you need them now. Oh man, my eyes are really bugging me today. Holy crap! I'm gonna go get some yeah. eye drops today. Yeah, well, you know what? When you spend all, I I do not look at a computer screen um, without looking at it through um, glasses you, that have a uh, blue light filter on them. Do you find the need to moisten your eyeballs ever? I do not. I don't usually either, but I definitely my eyes are irritated, dude. Maybe uh, maybe some moisten moistening wouldn't be out of the question. You know, um, yeah. Does this happen when you're not looking at the computer all day? I can't remember the last time I didn't look at the computer all day. Okay, yeah, then that's, <laughs> that's that, the eye strain is uh, is pretty serious stuff. Um, I like. I like having 2020 vision. Uh, maybe uh do you want to help me run some errands today, Dad? Do you um, have time? Yeah, I, if, uh, if you I don't, it's cool. Should probably, but it's going to be late in the afternoon. You're uh I tried and saying no this yesterday at the end of um of the uh live feed, actually, and we we cut off right. But um my uh my auntie, your great auntie, is in town. Great auntie. Yeah, Anne Caston is in town. I don't say her name because there's a hospital named after her. I don't think I'm doing too much out of uh, if you're right. You know what I mean? It's not like it's not like I'm really out in somebody. She has a hospital named after her. But uh, yes, your auntie is in town, and uh, I think I'm going to be um, getting together with uh, with her. She is uh, one of my favorite um, humans. I just really, really enjoy her company. You're and, talking about your other sister, right? No, that would be your aunt. I'm talking about the eye surgeon. Yes, from Florida, my mom's uh, brother's wife. Oh, but the, the eye surgeon's. But, he, but he's not here. No, just she is. Okay. Cool. Is I don't know if I've ever met her. Yes, I can't remember you, ever meeting her. Yes, you. You know where you met her was at the Nani. Uh, mm, do you remember? I met everyone 50th, at that. Her and what was that? It was a re, It wasn't a reunion. What was it? You know, my, my best loss. memories from yeah. it was a funeral. She was still alive is what it was, but it was a great thing. Wasn't it? We all got together. What a cool yeah. thing. I have vivid memories from that trip. I remember talking to you and my cousin about uh, Slim Shady. And I remember you making fun of my cousin for liking Slim Shady. And I was like, <laughs> what's that? You know? And uh, I remember dropping the F-bomb in front of great grandma Yeah. Uh, yep. as a four-year-old or whatever. Good times. Good times um what you know what you remember is it being brought up that day because you actually did it two years earlier but that day right. it got a lot yeah that day it got a lot of talking yeah you were two when you dropped that one it's no lie like this like uh, the thing from uh from family guy it wasn't your first word but boy oh boy it was one of the first ones you uh you dropped an f-bomb pretty early on it was uh yeah spanky has really blue eyes Yes, they look gray blessed. in the reflection, to be honest. They are much bluer than they look, they, at least on my really, screen. They're really, really blue. Yeah. And the way and they... Blue eyes are more sensitive to, um, from what they say, blue eyes are more sensitive to um, to blue light. So really need to get you some blue blockers. Yeah. Yeah, and if you don't have time today, no big deal. Um, but um, I could use, uh, I could use a, a hand with some with some things when you do have some time. Yeah, it just it all is going to depend on what time because I you know I see her about once a what a yeah no five or six I, years I you uh, dread pirate I Calhoun it. there you go I heard someone uh, refer to Uncle Johnny as the Buccaneer earlier I thought that was pretty legit we always hear about somebody having a great aunt does anybody have a all right aunt um, I know mm. that there are some there are some out there that are that are pretty crappy ones right I don't, I don't know if they got to be a few just all right aunts because i've got some all right aunts yeah i mean i'm because I'm, there are some aunts out there where you go yeah it's not that great right? and then there's some aunts out there where you're like hey you know well you know what's you know what's funny is um she would be calhouni's great aunt 
but regardless, she is absolutely a great aunt. She's one of, uh, as I said, one of my favorite people on earth and has been since I was a little boy. She, uh, she never treated me. Um, she treated me like a, uh, like an equal, I think at a, at a young age, she just, I should, maybe that's the wrong way to put it. She communicated with me at a young age. Like I wasn't, well, she talked with us when, yeah, she, when other adults didn't want to talk to kids, she, uh, she definitely had conversations where she was listening to you. It wasn't just a matter of, you know, she, uh, she was a lot of fun. Seventh says all the glasses he sent you were blue blockers. You don't have a third pair, do you? You're the problem with those Calhoun and they're absolutely phenomenal. Um, they're also, um, they're not clear. They have a prescription. Oh, well, yeah, that's not going to fly. And there lies the rub, but I have a pair of, uh, of those glasses. I think that I got from seventh as well. If I didn't, I got them from someone else, but seventh had already sent me a pair as well. I have a pair that are just clear that, um, uh, our blue blocker and they do make a difference. We'll, uh, we'll get them to you. Even no matter what we do, we'll try to get you uh, to him today. She treated me with respect SB. She also, I mean, cause I try to treat everybody with respect. I really do. I try to treat everybody with respect and I'm not good at it, but I try. I think everybody tries. What she did was the interest that she took in you was not, it didn't seem put on. You know what I mean? It didn't seem like, uh, People always come up and ask you, yeah, interested. people always come up and ask you a series of about seven questions when you're a kid, right? How are you doing in school, right? Um, you know, uh, what are your favorite, uh, what are your favorite subjects? Are you playing any sports, right? And those are the kind of things that you just got when you were a kid from all of your, from your relatives. And, uh, and she was just very unique in that she wanted to sit down and talk to you and, and, yeah, it was very sincere. And, uh, and you know, what was fun was right around the time that I was meeting her, she was, she had, was an OBGYN, right. But wanted to become an eye surgeon. So this was a person that had already gone through all of that school and now had to, was trying to change, uh, to become a surgeon. And, uh, the, the time that we were there, everybody was going out like every night. They were all my my parents and everyone. They were much younger at the time, right? So everyone was sort of it was a, a slightly uh, it was a wilder crowd in that they did go out all the time. And she was staying back to study because she had and and I just I remember thinking, boy, that sucks, man. Like everybody leaves and this woman just sits here alone. It's like four days. So I said, hey, let me I'll stay back with you and help you uh, run through those flashcards. Now I'm a you know what I mean? I had that memory, you know, as a kid. So by the time we were done, I think I could probably still rattle off, a, you know, 90% of the, uh, of the words from, you know, that. I don't uh, those, think that I days. can look at this screen any longer. Okay, then, then turn off the uh, feed, Calhoun. There's n- absolutely no reason. No, don't be. My eyes hurt. Yeah. Whenever um, you. Uh, I'll see everyone this evening and with some glasses on. All right. Yes, that's probably a much better idea. All right, people. Sounds like Spanky's going to go put uh, a little Visine in. And uh, I'm going to wrap this puppy up. Hopefully he uh, he gets... Uh, yeah, it sucks. But we need to get him some blue uh, light block too because that's definitely not helping the, uh, the cause. I am the uh, the former... Uh, I'm the Admiral. Take it, take it easy, people, and we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.